How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. As for me, through your abundant grace, I enter your house to worship with all in your sacred place. O Lord, I love the house where you dwell and the place where your glory tabernacles. I shall prostrate myself and bow. I shall kneel before the Lord, my Maker. To you, eternal one, goes my prayer. May this be a time of your favor and your abundant love, O Lord. Answer me with the truth of your salvation. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who forms light and creates darkness, who makes peace and creates all things. Blessed are you, Lord, who forms light. With a great love you have loved us, Lord our God. With a great and superabundant compassion have you had compassion upon us. Our parent, our sovereign, for the sake of our fathers who trusted in you, and you taught them the laws of life, so too grace us and teach us. Our Father, merciful Father, the merciful one, have mercy upon us and put it into our hearts to understand how to comprehend and to listen and to study and to teach and to keep and to do and to preserve all the words of the study of your Torah with love and enlighten our eyes to your Torah and make our heart clean to your commandments and unite our hearts to love and fear your name and may we never be embraced embarrassed ever since we have trusted in your great and awesome holy name let us rejoice and be gladdened by your salvation and bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth and lead us directly to our land as you are good who perform salvations and you have chosen us with all nations and languages and have brought us close to your great name forever in truth to praise you and unify you with love blessed are you lord who chose who chooses his people israel with love shema yisrael adonai luchunu adonai chad and you are to love adonai your god with all your heart and all your being and all your resources these words which I am ordering you today are to be on your heart and you are to teach them carefully to your children you are to talk about them when you sit at home when you are traveling on the road when you lie down and when you get up tie them on your head hand as a sign put them at the front of a headband around your forehead and write them on the door frames of your houses and on the gate on your gates So if you listen carefully to my misvote, which I am giving you today, to love Adonai, your God, and serve him with all your heart and all your being, then, says Adonai, I will give your land its rain at the right seasons, including the early fall rains and the late spring rains, so that you can gather in your wheat, new wine, and olive oil. And I will give your fields grass for your livestock, with the result that you will eat and be satisfied. But be careful not to let yourselves be seduced so that you turn aside, serving other gods and worshipping them. If you do, the, uh, the anger of Adonai will blaze up against you. He will shut the, up the skies so that there will be no rain. The ground will not yield its produce. And you will quickly pass away from the good land Adonai has given you. Therefore, you are to store up these words of mine in your heart and in all your being. Tie them on your hand as a sign. Put them at the front of a headband around your forehead. Teach them carefully to your children. Talking about them when you sit at home. When you are traveling on the road, when you lie down, and when you get up, and write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates, so that you and your children will live long on the land Adonai swore to your ancestors 
that he would give them for as long as there is sky above the earth. Adonai said to Moshe, Speak to the people of Israel, instructing them to make through all their generations zeal on the corners of the garments and to put with the zizit on each corner a blue thread. It is to be a zizit for you to look at and thereby remember all of Adonai's misvolt and obey them so that you won't go around wherever your own heart and eyes lead you to prostitute yourselves, but it will help you remember and obey all my misvolt and be holy for your Adonai. I am Adonai your God, you who brought you out of the land of Egypt in order to be your God. I am Adonai your God. Your teaching is true and enduring. Your words are established forever. Awesome and revered are they. Eternally right, well ordered are they, always acceptable. They are sweet and pleasant and precious, good and beautiful and beloved. True it is that eternal God is our King, that the rock of Jacob is our protecting shield. He is eternal and his glory is eternal. He is God for all generations. His sovereign throne is firmly established. His faithfulness endures for all time. His teachings are precious and abiding. We live forever. For our ancestors, for us, for our children, for every generation of the people of Israel, for all ages, from the first to the last, his teachings are true, everlasting. True it is that you are the Lord, our God, even as you were the God of our ancestors, our King and our ancestors' King, our Redeemer and our ancestors' Redeemer, our Creator, our victorious stronghold. You have always helped us and saved us. Your name endures forever. There is no God but you. You were always the help of our ancestors, a shield for them and for their children, our deliverer in every generation. Though you abide in the pinnacle of the universe, your just decrees extend to the ends of the earth. Happy the one who obeys your misvote, who takes a heart, to, who, who takes to heart the words of your Torah. You are in truth. Lord of your people, their defender and mighty king, you are first and you are last. We have no king or redeemer but you. You rescued us from Egypt. You redeemed us from the house of bondage. The firstborn of the Egyptians were slain. Your firstborn were saved. You split the waters of the sea. The faithful you rescued, the wicked drowned. The waters engulfed Israel's enemies. Not one of the arrogant remained alive. Then your beloved sang hymns and acclamation, extolling you with with songs and adoration. They acclaimed God King, great and awesome source of all blessing, the ever living God as all exalted in majesty, who redeems the meek, helps the needy, and answers his people's call. Praises to God supreme, ever praised is he. Moses and the people of Israel sang with great joy this song to the Lord, who is like you, Lord, among all that is worshipped, who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, working wonders. The redeemed sang a new song for you. They sang it in chorus at the shore of the sea, acclaiming your sovereignty. The Lord say, shall reign throughout all time. Rocky Israel, rise to Israel's defense. Fulfill your promise to deliver Yehuda and Israel. Our Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. Adonai Zavod is his name. Praised are you, Lord, Redeemer of the people of Israel. <coughs> Adonai, open my lips so my mouth may declare your glory. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, and the God of our ancestors, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, great and mighty and awesome God, supreme God, who bestows loving kindness by creating everything in the universe. You remember the kindness of our ancestors and lovingly bring redemption to their descendants for the sake of your name. 
You are our king, helper, deliverer, and shield. Blessed are you, Adonai, shield of Abraham. You are eternally mighty, Adonai, reviving the dead, abundantly able to redeem us, who causes the wind to blow and the rain to fall. With kindness do you sustain the living, and with great compassion do you revive the dead. You support the fallen, heal the sick, free the captives, and keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, source of mighty deeds? Who is like you, O King, whom, who causes death and restores life, and causes deliverance to spring forth? In faithfulness do you revive the dead. Blessed are you, Adonai, who revives the dead. You are holy, and your name is holy, and your holy ones praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the, the God who is holy. You show favor to man of knowledge, and you teach understanding to a mortal man. Be gracious to us, a mind of understanding and intellect is from you. Blessed are you, Adonai, who favors us with knowledge. Return us, O Father, to your Torah. Draw us near. O King, to serve you, restore us to your presence in complete repentance. Blessed are you, O Lord, who desires repentance. Forgive us, our Father, for we sinned. Pardon us, our King, for we have rebelled. For you are a partner and a forgiver. Blessed are you, Lord, the gracious one who abundantly forgives. Behold our affliction and companion our cause, champion our cause, and redeem us speedily for the sake of your name. Blessed are you, Lord, Redeemer Israel. Heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. Save us, and we shall be saved. So, one we praise is you. Bring complete healing for all our sickness. For, O oh God, for you are our faithful and compassionate healer and king. Blessed are you, Lord, the healer of the sick, Israel. Bless for us, Adonai, our God, this year and its crops. Grant us a blessing for on the earth. Satisfy us from thy bounty and bless our year like other good years. Blessed are you, O Lord, who blesses the years. Sound the great shofar for our freedom and raise a banner to gather our exiles and unite us together from the four corners of the earth. Blessed are you, Lord, who regathers the scattered of his people, Israel. Restore our judges as at the yearly times and advisors as there once were. Remove our sorrows and troubles. We want you, Adonai, to rule over us with kindness and compassion, and to justify us in justice. Blessed are you, Lord, the King, who loves righteousness and justice. Upon the righteous, upon the pious, upon the elders of your people of the house of Israel, upon the remnant of their scholars upon the righteous converts and upon ourselves may your compassion arise O lord our god and give good reward to all who sincerely believe in your name include us with them forever and let us not be ashamed for we put our trust in you blessed are you lord the stronghold and assurance of the righteous return in compassion to your city Jerusalem, and rest within us rest within it as you have said rebuild it speedily and in our days a structure forever and may you establish the throne of david within jerusalem speedily blessed are you lord the builder of jerusalem may the seed of david thy servant flourish speedily and may you exalt in your salvation for in your salvation do we hope all the day Blessed are you, Lord, who brings forth the horn of our salvation. Hear our voice, O Lord our God, and have pity and mercy upon us, 
and accept in mercy and in favor our prayer for you are a god who hears prayers and supplications do not turn us away from before you empty for in mercy you hear the prayer of your people israel blessed are you lord who hears prayer accept your people O Lord our God, and receive their, their prayer. Restore the most holy service of your house and accept and love the offerings and prayers of Israel. May it please you always to want to accept the service of your people Israel. May our eyes see you return to Zion in mercy. Blessed are you, O Lord, who restores his presence to Zion. We thank you, for it is you alone who is Adonai, our God, and the God of our fathers forever and ever. You are the rock and shield of our salvation, you alone, from generation to generation. We thank you and tell, you, tell of your praises, for our lives are in your hands and our souls are trusting in you. Every day your miracles are with us. Your wonders and favors are at all times evening morning and afternoon O good one your compassions are never exhausted and your kindness are continual we put our hope in you we acknowledge to you O lord that you are our god as you were the god of our ancestors forever and ever rock of our life shield of our help you are immutable from age to age we thank you and utter your praise for our lives that are delivered into your hands and for our souls that are entrusted to you and for your miracles that are with us every day and for our marvelously and for your marvelously kind deeds that are of every time evening and morning and noontide thou art good for thy mercies are endless thou art merciful for thy kindness says never are complete from everlasting we have hoped in you and for all these things may thy name be blessed and exalted always and forevermore and all the living will give thanks unto thee and praise thy great name in, tr in truth god our salvation and help Blessed be thou, O Lord, thy name is good, and to thee it is meet to give thanks. Grant peace, goodness, blessing, grace, kindness, and compassion upon us and upon all your people, Israel. Bless us, our Father, all of us as one with the light of your face, for with the light of your face you gave to us Adonai, our God, the Torah of life and love of kindness, righteousness, blessing, compassion, life, and peace. And may it be good to your eyes to bless your people, Israel, at every time and every hour with your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses his people, Israel, with peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, for he has heard the voice of my supplication. Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to engross ourselves in the words of Torah. Please, Hashem, our God, sweeten the words of Torah in our mouth and the mouth of your people, the family of Israel. May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, all of us, know your name and study your Torah for its own sake. Blessed are you, Hashem, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Hashem, our God, King of the Universe, who selected us from all the people and gave us his Torah. Blessed are you, Hashem, giver of the Torah. If the stones of a house become black, a Kohen is summoned. Upon judging if the infected stones can be removed or the house is to be destroyed, the house can be purified in a prescribed manner. Torah proceeds on with the ritual impurity of a man's sickly and unnatural seminal 
discharge and a naturally healthy seminal discharge. After this, the impurity of a woman's menstrual cycle is discussed as well as the ritual impurity of her husband. These groups of men and women must immerse in a mikvah for purification. In the event a woman is has experienced menstruation outside her normal cycle, she is unclean. In the event that it ends, she must offer two doves or two pi young pigeons as a burnt offering and a sin offering, respectively. As with other offerings throughout the year, the offerings of Rosh Kodesh, or the new moon, consists of a drink offering, a burnt offering, a sin offering, and a grain offering. Two young bulls, one ram, and seven lambs in their first year are offered as a burnt offering. Twenty quarts of fine flour mixed with olive oil are offered as a grain offering. A male goat for a sin offering is offered. And 12 quarts of wine are offered as a drink offering. Blessed are you, Lord of God, King of the universe, who has chosen good prophets and was pleased with their words spoken in truth. Blessed are you, Lord, who has chosen the Torah and his servant Moshe and his people Israel and the prophets of truth and righteousness. Naaman, the Armenian general, is found to have Zarata. He is sent to Sharom and is then sent to Elisha, who orders him to bathe in the Jordan seven times. After his servants reason with him, he does what Elisha said for him to do. After he fails to reward Elisha, he requests for two mules worth of soil so that when his master, the king, bows down to worship his idol, Naaman will bow down on these, representing that his faith is in the Lord of Israel, and he is only bowing down before the idol because the king is leaning on him. King Ben-Hadad of Aram besieges Sharon, which results in a catastrophic famine and cannibalism. King Yehoram of Sharon orders the execution of Elisha. However, the, the prophet prophesies that on the following day, six quarts of fine flour will sell for only a shekel, and a half bushel of barley will sell for a shekel. When the servant of the king mocks at this prophecy, the Nebi tells him that he will die after its fulfillment. The next morning, four men with Zatarat tell the watchman that the camp of Aram is abandoned and that the camp is full of flour and barley, besides the armor that is strewn along the road. Once this is verified and that no ambush is to be found, the population swarms the camp. They start selling six quarts of fine flour for only a shekel and a half bushel of barley for only a shekel. It is at this time the king's servant is found to have been trampled to death. Adonai states that his throne is in heaven and the earth serves as his footstool, so he doesn't need anything from man. However, he desires to show favor to the person with a poor and humble spirit who trembles at his word. Such a person will be rejected by their family for his glory and because of his name while showing true devotion to him. The rebels will be repaid what they are due, while the enemies of the holy city will be defeated easily. After the victory, the king will judge and establish peace for both the devout of his chosen people and the Gentiles. In the Messianic age, every Gentile and Yehudi will come to Yerushalayim on Rosh Chodesh and Shabbat. They will observe the corpses of those who rebelled against the king of the universe. Such people will be abhorrent to all humanity. The Gentile survivors of the rebellion from Tarshnesh, Pul, Lud, Tubal, 
Greece, and more distant coasts will be sent to minister to nations who have never heard of the king. They will gather the Yehudi in these nations and bring them on horses, in chariots, in wagons, on mules, and on camels to Jerusalem. Blessed are you, Lord of God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us concerning the county of the Omer. Happy are those who dwell in your house. They are continually praising you. Happy the people who are thus fortunate. Happy the people whose God is Adonai. I will stole you, O God, my King. And I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is Adonai, and highly to be praised. Adonai's greatness is beyond our understanding. One generation lulls your deeds to another, and tells of your mighty acts. I will tell of the glorious majesty of your splendor and of your wondrous deeds. They will speak of your awesome power, and I will recount your greatness. They will utter a recollection of your abundant goodness, and will sing joyously of your righteousness. Adonai is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and full of kindness. Adonai is good to all, and his tender mercies or upon all of his works. For your works will thank you, Adonai, and your faithful ones will bless you. They will speak of the glory of your kingdom, and will tell of your power, to inform all human beings of his mighty acts, and the majestic glory of your dominion. Your kingdom will last forever, and you will rule in every generation. Adonai supports all those who stumble and strains all those who are bent. The eyes of all look to you in hope, and you give them their food, and in due season. You open your hand and feed every living creature until it is satisfied. Adonai is righteous in every way, and faithful in hand and feed every living creature until it is satisfied. Adonai is gracious, is righteous in every way and faithful in every deed. Adonai is near to all those who call, to all who call upon his him sincerely. Adonai will fulfill the wishes of the reverent. He will hear their cry and deliver them. Adonai protects all those who love him, but will destroy all the wicked. May my mouth utter the praise of Adonai, and may all flesh bless his name forever and ever. He will bless, we will bless Adonai now and forever. Hallelujah. It is our duty to praise the Master of all, to ascribe the greatness to the author of creation who has not made us like the nations of the lands, nor placed us like the families of the earth, who has not made our portion like theirs, nor our destiny like all their multitudes. For they worship vanity and emptiness, and pray to a God who cannot save. But we bow and worship and give thanks unto the Supreme King of Kings, the Holy One, blessed be He, who extends the heavens and establishes the earth, whose throne of glory is in the heavens above, and whose powers present in the highest of heights. He is our God. There is no other. Truly, He is our King. There is none else. As it is written in His Torah, you shall know and take to heart this day that the Lord is God. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is no other. There is none like our God, there is none like our Lord, there is none like our King, there is none like our Savior. Who is like our God? Who is like our Lord? Who is like our King? Who is like our Savior? Let us thank our God, let us thank our Lord, let us thank our King, let us thank our Savior, 
Blessed be our God, blessed be our Lord, blessed be our King, blessed be our Savior. You are our God, you are our Lord, you are our King, you are our Savior. You are the one before whom our fathers burned the incense of spice. You will save us, you will arise and show mercy from Zion, for it will be the time to favor her, for the proper time will have arrived. May the memory of the six million souls be a blessing.